On today's episode of Kemp Outside, we take a look at the Continental Terrain Contact AT. We got new tires for the Kemp bus. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. On today's episode, we're taking a look at the Continental Terrain Contact AT tire. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that we use a Nissan van. It's a Nissan 3500 NV passenger. We got our van in 2016 and we've put 80,000 miles on it so far. It has been a fantastic van. We've been all over the country. We've been all the way up to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and Minnesota. We've been as far west as Yellowstone and Rocky Mountain National Park, Great Sand Dunes National Park. We have been to New Orleans, we've been to the Outer Banks, we have been all over the place in this van and I absolutely love it. If you haven't seen our overview of the Nissan NV passenger van, check it out. I'll put a link right up here or down in the description below. We call our van the Kemp Bus and we absolutely love it. You can also check us out on Instagram. Every time we, we go somewhere in the van we use the hashtag Kemp Bus so you can check that out. So in my last tire review video, I did a video on the tires that came on the van. They were Transforce HTs by Firestone. And guys, those were fantastic tires. I was really, really pleased with them. We got 70,000 miles out of our tires. Now, we rotated them every oil change, every 5,000 miles. We always made sure that they were properly inflated. But we got excellent, excellent wear out of those tires. And I would have put them on the van again, except for one problem they would get stuck on wet grass. They had absolutely terrible off-road performance. Now I'm not off-road very often in the van, but occasionally I am. If I'm going down a dirt road or just off in the grass here in Florida, I need to have traction off-road. And so those tires needed to be replaced. If you want to see my review though on those Firestone Transforce HTs, check it out. I'll put a link right up here or down in the description below. So as I was researching all the different tires that were options for the van, I looked at a, a bunch of them. We considered the Falcon Wild Peaks. We considered some Yokohama tires. We considered a BF Goodrich All-Terrain KOs, which is what I used to run on my F-250 back when I had it. But what we did was we went with the Continental Terrain Contact AT. And I went with them because of the reviews that I saw on Tire Rack and a couple other places I thought that I would give that a try. So let's take a look at the tire and see how it's doing so far. So we have 8,000 miles on these tires currently, and overall I have been really pleased. Check them out. So guys, here's a look at the side of the Continental Terrain Contact AT. They do a pretty good job of withstanding some curb rash and things like that. Our Nissan van is also our daily driver. And so when my wife is driving it to pick up the kids in the school lot or things like that, occasionally they hit curbs and get a little bit of rash on the sidewalls. But all in all, these tires have held up really, really well. Uh, they're not showing very much wear on the sidewall. You can see a little bit right there, uh, but you know nothing, nothing really bad. And I really like these uh, side uh, grips because they really help a lot with the dirt and mud. We've been off-road a little bit in Georgia going down some dirt roads after rain when it was really soupy and never had problems with traction. We were also in Minnesota during the winter and had quite a bit of snow that we had to drive through and they had excellent traction in the snow as well. So here's a look at the tire patch of the Continental Terrain Contact AT. And I just looked at the odometer and we actually have 9,000 miles on these tires, not 8,000. So they're doing pretty well. Uh, I'm really pleased with how they have performed so far. Uh, they've gone through several tire rotations because we rotate our tires every 5,000 miles with our oil change. And if I stick my finger in here, you, know, you can see you know, it's still pretty deep. Um, so, really, really happy with them. They don't wander too much on the road, which is good. 
some tires have a little bit of have a little bit of tire wander. They're not very loud. Uh, they're a little bit louder than the Firestone Transforce, especially when they were new. But they've kind of settled in so that I don't even notice the noise now. So guys, I really like these tires. I have been super pleased with their performance and they are not the cheapest tire on the market, but they are not the most expensive either. Prices obviously will change as time goes on, so definitely check the link that I'll mention in a minute uh, to get prices on this tire. Let's talk about tire size, guys. So the standard tire size for the Nissan NV Passenger is 245.70 R17s. The cargo version of the van is 245.75. R17s. Now with a 245.75 the tire is a little bit taller and a little bit wider and I really like that tire size in an NV passenger versus the passenger size for the tire. I'm guessing that Nissan put a smaller tire on the passenger version to make it a little bit lower to the ground to make it easier to get in and out. These vans were basically produced for shuttle service. They sell a lot of these vans to hotels and things like that for shuttle service to and from airports and and things like that and so that is my guess why they did a smaller tire i could be totally wrong uh, but it's the one that makes sense to me because i don't understand why they wouldn't do the same tire size for the cargo version and the passenger version there's so many things on this van guys that uh, still have the cargo version in the van so that's my guess. Maybe someone who works for Nissan knows differently, and if you do, drop something in the comments. But I went with the cargo size for my new set of tires. I think it rides better. I think it performs better. It lifts the van off the ground a little bit higher, and ground clearance is important for us uh, when we're getting off the pavement just a little bit. And guys, the speedometer is accurate at higher, higher speeds, so it would read two miles an hour faster than you were actually going which was frustrating for me. So now with the bigger tires, it kind of corrected the speedometer. So I'm happy about that. And check out the Continental Terrain Contact AT. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that review of the Continental Terrain Contact AT tire. We got these tires from TireRack.com. I'm going to put a link down in the description below where you can check out the Continental Terrain Contact AT. It is a affiliate marketing link, so if you do buy tires from Tire Rack using our link, uh, we do get a small commission on the sale. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's a great way to support our channel at no additional cost to you, so we really appreciate it. Guys, Kemp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. And it typically starts with getting in your car and getting out on the road and going somewhere cool. So wherever you go, make sure that you have the tires to get you there. We release new videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time right here on YouTube. Our Monday and Tuesday videos are focused on campground and campsite reviews. And our Thursday videos are on a whole wide range of topics, including camping, hiking, and fishing videos, how-to videos, tips and tricks, gear reviews, stuff for the camp bus, and a whole lot more. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos, and hit that like button for me. And guys, if, there's, if you have any questions about how these tires perform or how we like our, our Nissan NV or, or anything like that, definitely drop something in the comments. Or you can hit us up on other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. And all the links are, are uh, in the description below for all of those. So guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. If you have Continental Terrain Contact ATs, let me know how you like them. Drop something in the comments. We will see you next time on Kemp Outside. Thank mm -hmm. you.